introduce for you the challengers. They are in blue. Would you please welcome them as I call their names one at a time? Here we go. Position number one from Aiken, South Carolina, five goal handicap, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Boswick. At number two from Universal City, Texas, he's a superstar, eight goals, Mike Azaro. America's highest rated player, Owen Reinhardt. And at number four, originally from Norman, Oklahoma, now from Texas, Pete Dale Smithless. And the great Whiteberg team, ladies and gentlemen, here he is from Argentina, six goals, Batista Eggy. At number two, eight goals, MVP, three years ago, Mariano Aguirre. The one and only, ten goal handicap superstar, Gonzalo Pierez. And the team captain, America's highest rated amateur, Peter Brandt, seven goals. Our officials this afternoon on the field, Mr. Jeff Atkinson, Kelly Garcia, referee and third man, Mr. Julian Hipwood, throwing out the game ball, Mr. Sylvester Stallone. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, there's a one goal handicap start for Michelob on the, on the board, and we're getting set to start the game. And we're off in the 1990 $100,000 World Cup. Here we go, Gonzalo Pierez backing the ball. Number three, Owen Reinhardt with the green helmet. Owen, it's a pretty solid back shot. The ball dropping here for Mike Azaro. This young man is one of the top scorers in this season here at the Polo Club. Nicely knocked out of the air. How about that? What an eye. Working his way to the halfway line. A good punching, that deep shot. Look at Owen Reinhardt coming through. Owen getting set for the near side. Inside the 60 yard line, right here for Charlie Boswick. Boswick getting set, watch for the next up, Boswick up. Wide! The ball is wide. Good taking the knock in. Peter, down to his number two. Mariano Gary doesn't get a good hit. Back shot from no, Charlie Boswick. Tried to set up Mike Azaro, but Gonzalo looking back saying, what am I doing here having to come back? He does, turns the play completely the other way, punches a good shot. Nice long lofted ball. Batista again Ag is at number one. No contact for the defending player. It's a loose ball, here's an opportunity for Whitebirch now. Number two is coming on very strongly on beautiful black pony. A good layup shot to the goal. Look at the speed of this young fellow, Mariano Aguirre. Can he keep it in play? No, he can't, but a very good run. It's a lot of butterflies that have to come out. Dale Smithless. Good looking shot outside the 60 yard line. Mike Azaro. Mike coming in, but he caught, draws the whistle from the umpire. Coming in. Peter Sharp, looking pretty good. Partially knocked out of the air, right on the line, it's a goal! So, number one, remember, and so it's one goal. Batista Hagee is uh, making his uh, debut on the number one field. He's wearing the green helmet for the White Birch team. Remember, Peter Brand is playing instead of Steve Dalton for the White Birch team, and here comes Batista. Dale Smickless heading back to cover the back door. This is Owen Reinhardt with the green helmet. Batista showing good control. Cuts inside. There's a hook. And they stop it right there. But number three, Gonzalo Pierez comes in. Turns the pony on a dime. Gonzalo keeps the ball on his right-hand side, which means the player may have to foul to come in to get the ball, but he doesn't. There's a shot right in front of the goal. It's rolling up there, and it's through for the goal. Can you believe it? They're all watching and the ball sneaks over the goal line and every time we score a goal, we change ends to get both teams the same wing ground and weather conditions. Peter Brandt. No contact. Now, Charlie Boswick. Charlie, he's evading the hook. He can't take a full swing because he knows he may get hooked. Charlie working again and again off the offside. Going for the next shot. Keeps it inside for Mike Cazaro. But number three, Gonzalo Pierez takes control. Gonzalo Pierez coming down the West sideline, out of play for a throw in. Okay, let's give it a try. Anybody here for White Birch this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say? White Birch. Hmm, okay, anyone here for Mikolo today? My goodness me. Okay. Here we go then. Time out, says umpire Cali Garcia. Now then, from the throw in. Boswick. Azaro. Two players in the white coming in to shut the back door. It's Peter Brandt getting set, punches it away to the boards. Number two in the white, excuse me, in the blue is Azaro. Mike Azaro gets away from one player. Coming in, takes it on the near side. And we hear an umpire's whistle. Best playing pony on numerous occasions. She's a wonderful mare. Here we go. Peter Brandt straight along the carpet. 
Mariano Aguirre. Oh, and nice play. Picks it up and backs it in one beautiful motion. Dale Smickler is working off the near side. Dale, the big guy, he can really hit them. Mr. Cameraman, I suggest you get back out of that area because you will get hopped upon by eight horses in a hurry. Believe me. Now then, two or three players coming together. Who is he going to be? It's Mariano. He's beautifully hooked right there. Classic hook by Mike Azaro. And here comes Owen coming in to put the pressure on number three, Gonzalo. Owen gets there first. Watch out, cameraman. Now then, getting set. Coming around the outside this time. Number four, Peter Brandt. And a nice little finesse play. And a little across the field next shot. This is Batista Hagee getting out of the way. And it's intercepted here by Mike Azaro. But a whistle. Deepers. Gonzalo shot is up, through for the goal, no question about it, and into the pond behind. So look at the score, to come up with a goal. This game, we have no bias one way or the other, we just want to see a good game, and from time to time we ask for your applause for a team that may be trailing. And here comes Batista Hege, and here comes Owen Reinhardt, and here comes Mike Azaro with a short back shot. Nicely knocked out of the air by Gonzalo Pierez and Hege, quickly under the play. Hagee around the outside of two players. He's inside the 60-yard line. Takes it on the near side. Can they stop him? No, they can't. Two players coming in, and that's uh, Owen Reinhardt with a beautiful back shot. Now, this could be a hit-and-run situation for, for Mike Azaro, but the ball's deflected. It's still in play. Look at Azaro pressing here. It's beautiful play. And here comes Mikolo with a beautiful shot down the field. A chance for the Mikolo team, but it's hit too hard. Can you believe it? That ball was hit about a hundred. To White Birch. Peter Brandt, minute and six seconds on the clock. Peter's shot, coming down the field. Dale Smickless, waiting for the bounce off the boards. He's challenged, but he gets it away. It's a loose ball, who has the line here? Charlie Boswick picks it up. Charlie, gonna have to make a left turn. Can't quite pick it up. Here comes Mike Cazaro, number two right behind him. He's going for the shot, but he's hooked. Here's number three, and he's hooked. And this will be up to number four now. This is Dale Smickless, the defensive man. An interception here by White Burks. now. Turning the play, Mariano Aguirre got his number one in good receiving position. The two young players from Argentina, but no contact with their layup shot. 30 seconds to go. The man, the vice right here, trying to deliver a decent pass. Mike Gazzaro coming in. Decides to go for the board. That'll end the chucker. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Whichever team you like, a round of applause, if you will. And you might like to get one from our la lady to uh, to have one of the players autograph it. Or bargains in terms of before the end of the day. Remember the White Birch team played with Peter Brand at number four. Not in the program as published. Which was uh, Steve Dalton. Here we go. Now, the White Birch team. Definitely on the attack and that ball's on its way towards the goal and it is a goal! Can you believe it again? That's Batista Hege, ladies and gentlemen. Polo Championship, $100,000 purse. From the throw in, the back shot, down to Batista who takes it nicely on the near side. Dale Smith was saying, I've had enough of this, I've got to get tough maybe. Up comes Dale, excuse me. Up comes uh, Owen Reinhardt. Owen, unlucky, the pony, just getting in front of the ball. Now, here comes a sweeping shot. No contact from Batista. Now, here comes, who's this? It's Mike Azaro. Mike right there with Owen, backing Owen up. My, Owen goes to the near side. Owen goes to the near side, a flick of the wrist. Charlie Boswick may have a chance here. Waits, but no, nicely intercepted and well defended by Peter Brandt. And here comes Mariano Aguirre. Mariano. Looking for the hit and run. He's hit and he's running and Dale Smith is trying to run him out. He's going behind him. He's going for the shot. Don't get too much on the ball. Here comes number three. Watch for the next shot with the ball bundling out of play. No comment. Here we go. Down the field now. Here comes Mike Azaro. Mike looking for the long ball and he gets it. He's looking for the umpire's whistle but he doesn't get it. The ball's out of play and so we'll have a throw in. And of course for the Ray White Birch team, White Birch. Okay, here we go. Now then, two or three players coming in. It's number whom? It's Mariano Aguirre going to the near side. Did it was a nice pass. Back comes number four. 
He's under pressure from young Batista. Nice back shot. Here's a chance for Owen. It's right there for him. With an extra man down the field. Can he deliver the pass? Not quite. Still has a chance. Reinhardt with two men down the field. He's hit it off to the right. Has he hit it too hard? Maybe, but they're chasing right down to the wire. Over the back line. Not from the back line, up comes number four, Peter Brandt. Charlie Boswick is right there. Brandt shot deflected off the pony, Owen Reinhardt will have a chance to bat the ball. And he does, looking for Mike Cazaro. Mike waits, checks up, dribbles once, gets a bump. Back comes Gonzalo, it's Gonzalo and Mike together, hustling. Near side, back shot, a beautiful shot. Here's a chance for Boswick to put it away. Umpires, Jeff Atkinson and Cali Garcia. Timeout says the... No, not. Here we go. The play continues. Charlie Boswick scoring the first goal this afternoon from the field. Boswick cuts to the left. Back comes Batista Hagee. There's a challenge for Mike Azaro. Boswick now in good position. Oh, there's a nice layup shot. Is he going to make it? Watch for the back shot. Goal! Four goals to three. Now then. The umpire needs five yards to throw the ball in. Gentlemen, line up, give me a chance to throw that in correctly. And here we go. That's Gonzalo, going to the near side, beating three men, two men to it. Nice back shot from Niccolo. Here's a chance for Boswick, he scored off the play. Now then, this is Dale Smithless approaching the 60 yard line. Peter Brandt's back there. Smithless, this shot is gonna go in, it's up, it's up, it's a goal! Two. Dale Smickless with the long ball. Charlie Boswick running in good position, but I don't think it was necessary. Here we go. Now then, Whitebirch trying to regain a little more control. Back comes number two, Mike Gazzara, Owen Reinhardt. And they catch it. Gonzalo cracks that ball up and the ball is wide. Okay, from the back line, nice strong crossfield shot from number four to number two, who is Mike Azaro. Mike has been a tremendously powerful scorer. He's something else, I'm telling you. What a beautiful layup shot. There's four, three players coming in. Back comes the defending player, nicely tucking it around the corner. And what do we see here? Two, three players together. The action continues. Mike Azaro trying to find Owen Reinhardt, but Mariano Aguirre right there at a whistle. Dale shot along the ground, intercepted by Mariano Aguirre. Dale may have a shot, a high lofted ball. Through for the goal! Now underneath that, five to four and Niccolo, out in front again. They were given one goal handicap, remember? And they scored five, four from the field. Here we go. Now then, this is really shaping up to be super stuff. Dale, unable to complete the shot. Owen Reinhardt waits for the bounce, gets it on the half volley. They're bumping and pushing. Don't be surprised if you hear a whistle out there. Back comes the defending player, Boswick, with a short cutaway shot. Here's the chance for Dale with the near side. He's going to it. Picked up by number two, but here comes Batista Hege and a whistle. Played by number two. Here we go. Peter Brandt coming in for his second shot. Possible interception. Here. Oh, goodness me. Four players coming within a half an inch of each other. And here comes Mariano Aguirre. Mariano won the MVP three years ago in this tournament. This is Dale Smickless with a back shot. Right there, here's a chance for Owen Reinhardt if he can turn. Owen Reinhardt shot, can they catch him? It's Gonzalo Pierez. Reinhardt, is he going to get hooked? No. One more shot, maybe he's at 30, he's at 12. Right in front of the goal. Up comes number one, keeps it in place, right on the goal line, but it's over the back line, and that'll be it for the chunker. What do you think of it, ladies and gentlemen? Five to four, Wicko. Okay, we'll take a break just for a couple of Chucker number three, the World Cup, $100,000 purse. Peter Brandt, America's highest amateur polo player, down to the sideline. Back comes Dale Smickless, going for the back shot, into the oncoming player. We don't stop the clock when a goal is scored or when the ball goes over the sideline or the back line. Only when the umpire's whistle has been heard. Here we go as Michelo, Charlie Boswick. Boswick getting set, checks up. Going for the tail shot, does not make contact, Batista Hagee jumps in on this magnificent grey pony. 
Matista tries to keep it in play, but it's out of play. Oh, what do you say? Okay, making sure you're still awake and here's a race. Look at this grey pony, are you kidding me? Look at this grey heading down to the north goal. Dale Smithers, can he catch him? Batista Hege going for the shot right in front of goal and they whack it away over their own back line and that'll be a safety goal. Little high lofted shot, is it going to go? Knocked out of the air right there in front of the goal. Mikkel Ope saves it right here. Here comes Dale Smickler. Smickler is away. He's checking over the shoulder. He knows he's going to get hooked. The back shot from Mariano Aguirre, but Owen Reinhardt makes an immediate new turn. Incredible play there. With the pony, of course. Now then, Owen Reinhardt partially gets hooked, but he's got a little room to move. Owen keeps the ball on the right side. Again, two or three players together and a whistle he's got the power here we go Dale Smickers look at this look at this a heck of a shot against the wind dropping at the 30 yard line beautiful hit here's a chance Owen Reinhardt Mike Azaro Charlie Boswick the colorway shot ah two three players together and it's out of there and here comes White Birch they're missed taking no chances as they head straight down the field on this beautiful back pony look at the speed of this beautiful black pony now then back comes Smickless punches it around the corner and a whistle is heard and listen to it's a goal wait a minute they're having a conversation I think that looks like Mr. Walter Kuhn time remaining five minutes and thirty seconds we'll have a half time ladies and gentlemen you're invited to go onto the field tread in the divots here we go. Now then, there's a bump, but back comes Batista Hagee with a nice back shot. This is Owen Reinhardt. Owen, challenge. Watch out for this guy. Number three, Gonzalo Pierez heading for the goal, and it's an equalizer at five goals apiece. White Birch. And we do not want you to go onto the field because we'll never get you off, if you know what I mean. Thank you very much. Do not go onto the field because we're only taking a short break because there's some rain coming and we don't want to get you wet. Here we go. We have a broken mallet head up in the air. I don't know who it belongs to. Here comes Mike Azaro. Azaro leading the charge as Dale Smithless goes off to change mallets. There's no time out for this, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Azaro, look at this mallet work. Beautiful stuff. Makes a left turn. Mike Azaro making a right turn this time. Coming in, but he doesn't have the line. As two players in the white come in, backs it away. Now then. Cali Garcia, down there the umpire. This is number two, eight goal player from Argentina. Mariano Aguirre is called off the play by Gonzalo. Gonzalo getting set, eyeing the goal area. White cranks it up, punches it down there. Here comes number four, Peter Brandt up into the attack. Brandt looking good. A bump by Dale Smithless right there. Smithless saves it right there. Good defensive play as they come together again. Number one, Hagee. Looking good, Batista shoots it to the goal, it's up and they've saved it again. Not sure if they got a mallet to the ball. Half time break ladies and gentlemen, so please stay where you are. Here we go down the field and this is whom? This looks like Charlie Boss, Mike Cazaro heading down the field. He's on his own with one player, back in defense. Now then, Mike is hooked right there as number four Peter Brandt can feel Charlie Boswick breathing down his neck. And there's the back shot, but Owen Reinhardt has to turn. Owen getting set, but here comes Gonzalo Pierez. Gonzalo, notice how deep Dale Smickless is playing. A nice return pass from number one to number three. Two extra men down the field, but Owen Reinhardt comes in and punches it away around the corner as Boswick has to come online. Kenny, he goes for the hook. Well played by the young Argentinian. A little finesse play there. Now then, the back shot is challenged by Gonzalo. Watch for the little contact here. Batista very wisely leaves the play to number two. Number two is Mariano Aguirre. Aguirre, and there is a whistle. Gonzalo's shot is up, and it's up, and it's through for the goal, and White Birch get out in front by six goals to five. Back to the lineup. Umpire Cali Garcia. From the throw in, Owen Reinhardt. This is Mike Azaro at number two. Mike, a prolific scorer, coming back to help in defense. This is Hagee. Hagee now off and away on the beautiful gray. Dale Smithless having to pick up two men right here. 
Hagey checks up, goes to the right, gets behind Dale, out in front of Owen Reinhardt. Look at this young guy go. Argentina right here. There's the shot. Back comes the defending player. And it is one. It's a, it's a goal, says the goal judge. We man, Batista Hagey. Okay, with a minute and 19 on the board. Back comes Mariano Aguirre. Here comes Batista Hagee. Batista's going to try and hit and run and outrun Dale Smickler. Smickler's going to ease him out. There's a bump. The little guy pushing the big guy. Dale goes for the sideline. And the ball kept in play. Dale's tail shot against the pony this time. Now then, Mariano Aguirre coming in. Looking good. Mariano once, twice, three times. Here's Owen Reinhardt, but the ball slipped away to the side. This may cost them right here. Going for the next shot, the ball's up wide. From the back line, here comes Dale Smickless again, but it's intercepted right here on the edge of the 60. Batista goes for it. The ball is up and it's wide into the right. There is the chucker. That'll end the... but uh, no time out for that. It's on with the game. It's Dale Smickless. It's a beautiful cross-field next shot. Mike Cazaro coming down the field. Mike looking for a high-lofted ball. Over the halfway line, back comes Mariano Aguirre at number two. Mariano is number three. Gonzalo Pierres, this time on a beautiful gray. As Gonzalo turns everybody inside out, checks up, delivers a pretty good-looking ball. Way running down towards the north goal. Now then, that's Mike Cazaro, backing it, nice interception by Aguirre here, and he's off and running towards the goal. Now then, that's Batista Hagee, correction, Batista's shot is up, it's up towards the goal, and it is through for the goal! So you wait, Birch Dime, heading to the north. Now then, here we go, from the throw-in, looking for Dale Smickless, and here he is, Dale. Gets the back shot in for Owen Reinhardt. Owen's got an extra man down the field, the long, deep ball. Peter Brand, the ball rolling for him. Here's a little pressure from Charlie Boswick. Gonzalo goes for the next shot, doesn't make contact. Here's a chance for Mike Cazaro, but there is a whistle on the play. Brand at number four, gets well underneath that ball, waiting for it to drop is Owen Reinhardt and Dale Smickless. Dale gets an awkward bouncing ball, but here comes Mariano Aguirre, checking his number one player behind him. Mariano gets away the, near, the offside neck shot. Here comes Dale with his back shot. Turns it around the corner. Now here are two players down the field for Michelo. Could this be goal number six? Here we go. Charlie Boswick running onto the ball. Peter Brand is right here. Peter getting set as Charlie's pony smacks it against the boards. Now, there's the back shot. There's two players coming in together. It's Owen Reinhardt. As the action continues, Reinhardt working his way. There's three or four players together. Watch for the next shot. There it is. The ball's up. It hits somebody, but we have a whistle in any case. And let's see. Where is the ball? Here we go. The shot is good, and it is wide. The ball is... Mike's shot is up, and it's through this time. So it's a go. Chucking up. Umpire says, give me a little shot to throw the ball in. Now then, Mariano is reaching to hook Owen Reinhardt, but Owen's away. Eight to six is the score. Reinhardt again. He gets away from the hook. Gonzalo Pierres this time coming back and gets away a nice little back shot. However, Mike Azaro reaching off the near side. Azaro going again as the White Birch team try to clear it away, but it's going to be Azaro. Backs it around the corner, looking for Charlie Boswick. Boswick, the pickup on the near side by Gonzalo Pierres. And here comes the White Birch team, heading down the right wing, the east side, into the back of the pony, coming in for a second shot. Owen stops that pony beautifully, turns on a dime, and is off again as Charlie Boswick heads down towards the goal. Two or three players together. Is that a whistle? Yes, it is. We have a whistle. As there was no foul, they simply line up and throw the ball in again from that spot. And next shot, strong, deflected, waiting for the ball to come back. Here's a chance for Charlie Boswick with an inside shot. Now, back comes number four, Peter Brandt. Peter 
to the sideboards. He can hear Owen Reinhardt breathing down his neck and he puts him off the shot. Now then, what do we have here? Where's the ball? Here we go. The back shot from number two, Mariano Aguirre, nicely knocked out of the air, but Boswick, Boswick picks it up and a whistle. This is Peter Brandt. Peter hits a very good ball, dropping down to the 40-yard line. Dale Smickless shuts the back door temporarily with the back shot. This is Charlie Boswick, who changes direction for a moment, comes in and goes for a little tail shot, but it's a bit short. Picked up by Mariano Aguirre. Mariano's going for it, deflected. Smickless is going to have to hustle. Does he keep it in play? Yes, he does. He saved the goal there. The next shot response is up, and it's through for the goal. So... Batista Hagen. Here we go, it's Michelob heading down the field. Peter Brand hustling. Charlie Boswick tries to ride out Peter Brand, allowing a clear shot, an angle shot from Mike Azaro. What a shot! Oh, the ball is wide. Okay, and here comes White Birch. Peter Brandt down the field. Batista Hagee cracks it down the field. Look at this beautiful passing and the door wide open, allowing number two. This is number two, Mariano Aguirre. The defending number two is Mike Azaro. He's going to have to go for it. The next shot, a short next shot. I think he's going to make it. It's up. It's a goal. Can you believe it? A beautiful goal from a magnificent pass. Mariano Aguirre goes to Tennis Mikolo. Drop behind again. And in a moment, we're going to ask you to See where you stand, as the rain seems to be keeping away for the moment. Maybe we shouldn't have said that. Here we go. Number one, Batista Hagee. What a fine debut on the international field. Look at here. Is there a chance now for Mikolo? This is Charlie Boswick. Owen Reinhardt. Boswick's shot is up. It's going towards the goal, but it's off to the left by five or six feet. With about a minute to go. And chapter number four. Peter Brandt hits well outside of the 60-yard line. No contact from Dale Smickless. Nicely taken on the near side. And a whistle. Put by the Bean Company. Here we go. Dale Smickless. Looking for a long shot. Look at this hit. A tremendous towering hit. And the ball is wide. As the thunder seems to be going away to our southwest, fortunately. This is Mike Cazaro, nicely played, keeping everything alive for Michelo. But here comes Batista Hagee with 30 seconds to go. Batista with a man in front and one behind, heading down the field, playing like a veteran. Pops it down the field, another beautiful pass here for number two. Mariano Aguirre hits a blazing shot and it's a goal! Can you believe it? Unbelievable shot, Mariano Aguirre. Be back in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? Anybody who won, you did it once today. Niccolo, they need your help, ladies and gentlemen. They're trailing by five goals against the very, very formidable White Birch. Here we go. Strong back shot. Here's a chance for Charlie Boswick, maybe. Charlie Boswick, the team captain of the IPF chart. There's a shot to the goal, but the ball's off to the left. Now, two players coming in. Peter Brandt at number four. Peter getting set, getting set for his inside shot. Mariano Aguirre quickly trying to outrun Owen Reinhardt. It's neck and neck and Mariano pulling ahead by a head. Mariano coming down towards the south curl. He's out in front of Owen Reinhardt. What a nice play. Watch this. Ball is up but it's knocked away by the pony. Dale Smickless. Dale shot again outside to the 60 yard line. Number two is Mike Azaro. Mike keeping the ball in play, yes indeed. Charlie Boswick just inside the north half. Peter Brandt coming in here. Peter getting set, goes for the back shot but it's out of play. White Birch continues the, the lead now. Owen going for the back shot, an attempted knock out of the air. Not quite working as the Thunder from the south end. Hopefully it's too far south. As we see Gonzalo Pierez check up. Look at the young Batista going down towards the goal, watch for the hook, a nice hook right there by Boswick. Here's the follow through by Peter Brandt coming up into the attack now. The back shot from Azaro, still a loose ball. Mariano going for the half back shot. And it is over the back line and the knock in. While, now then, from the back line, here we go. 
as number two, Mike Cazaro, making a run. What a beautiful pass to Owen. Reinhardt, if he can get it. But an awkward bouncing ball comes to Owen. Two or three players together. As the whistle, excuse me, as there's no whistle, the players continue. Picked up by Mariano Aguirre. Owen Reinhardt comes in, hooks in. This is Mike Cazaro, does not have a play. Mariano Aguirre is there, going for the long shot, down towards the goal. Dale Smithers, relatively plenty of time, goes for the back shot, knocked out of the air. Who's this? Cesaro. Gonzalo Pierez, the next shot to Peter Brandt. Gonzalo. Now then, here's a chance for Roswick if he can get out in front, but Peter Brandt is there. Can he outrun Peter Brandt? No, he can't as Peter comes in very quickly and strongly tails it away. It's a loose ball. Two or three players coming together. It's Owen Reinhardt who gives a bump, tries to go for the next shot. There it is, Owen. Back comes number one, Charlie Boswick. Here's Dale Smithers up into the attack now. Smithers going for it. Smithers again, but the ball's going to go wide. I was going to say. Okay, here we go. Peter Brandt strongly. The water keeping the ball back from skidding along the ground. Now then, two players in blue. Here we go, Reinhardt and Mike Cazaro. Getting a little closely, close to each other. The ball nicely left. There's the through ball, a long ball. It doesn't matter what the conditions. These guys can really hit it right to the spot. A back shot from Owen. Correction. Here's Owen at number three. Owen gets a long, deep pass. It's up to the speed of the ponies, but again, Peter Brandt, look at Charlie Boswick. He's got an angle shot. Can he go to the near side? He can indeed. Here comes Mike Asaro, but he can't make it. And here comes number two, and it's Mariano Aguirre running away out towards the east side. The ball's still in play against the boards, but just over this and a bit to go. And the World Cup up for grabs. The Michelob team trailing by five. Here comes White Birch yet again. And there is the through ball, but it's a little bit short this time. And who's this? Mike Cazaro says, let me have it. Here's Cazaro in third gear. Mike Cazaro coming through. He's at the 60. He's at the 40. Cazaro is stopped. Pick up on the near side. Boswick having a little trouble. Can't get the near side shot in. And here comes Peter Brandt and the whistle. He's going for it. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's stopped right in front of the goal. Can they get the shot in? No, they can't. They do keep it in play, but there is a goal. Here's Peter Brandt. Peter, the ground beginning to come up just a little bit. Peter's second shot. Charlie Boswick coming over to cover. Leaves it to number three, Gonzalo Pires. They're eating up the clock, and why not? This is a big one at stake. A minute and 59. A well-hit ball deep down towards the south goal. Dale Smickless gets a piece of it with an inside back shot. Charlie Boswick is leaning into the back of the opponent. Here comes number two. He's looking for some help. It's Mike Azaro. Mike, unlucky. A little bit of a delay. May have cost him with the pony coming in. There's the through ball, Owen Reinhardt. Putting pressure on Gonzalo. Owen going to the near side. The ball still up for grabs. Mariano Aguirre with a nice clearing neck shot, relieving the pressure for just a moment. Here he comes again. The back shot, just getting past his head. Oh, pony is down, and everything's okay. Just a little slip, no problems. But they will check the pony, and Mike, are you okay? It's in the very best of players. Okay, from the throw in, the ball's knocked immediately out of bounds with a minute and 16 on the clock. Now then, Owen Reinhardt tries to get something going for the Michelob team. Looking for the through ball, a little bit short. Up comes number one, Boswick, looking for the official's whistle, and finally there is a whistle. Dale shot accurately towards the goal. Still running on, they can't stop it! Oh, it's just missing by us! A little more dangerous as it's got some surface dampness on it. Here we go, Peter Brandt. Charlie Boswick out in front of him. Peter coming in for his second shot. Hits a good ball. Well, I believe 30 seconds to go. It'll touch the sideboard, and that'll be the chucker, ladies and gentlemen. 
So, whichever team you like, let's give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty difficult conditions. White Butcher in the white, Nickelodeon in the blue. And anything can happen in the World Cup. There's so much talent, both in terms of horses and players. Look at this young guy here. Picked up by number two. Number two, Mariano Aguirre. Azaro, unable to make the next shot. There's the next shot from Owen Reinhardt as Azaro tries to pick up the pass but number three on the white team picks up the play, takes it to the sideboards. This is Gonzalo Pierez. Gonzalo going for his delivery to the goal. Dale Smickless right here. Back shot, strong, deflected off the hoof of the pony. Dale will do that again. There it is and gets it away this time. Now, Two or three players in the white come in to keep the pressure on the blue team. Now then, picked up by Batista. Batista, can he get a shot in? Picked up by number two on the blue team and it's... Coming in, there's the shot, it's up and it's through for goal number 12. Better than what they are right now. Here we go. Up by Jeff Atkinson. Throws the ball into the players. Now then, and all kinds of bad luck is happening to the blue team, the pony treading on the ball, here comes number two with a beautiful shot, look at this from about a hundred yards out, a terrific shot, the ball skidding along. Here comes the big man, Dale Smickless looking for Mike Azaro, Charlie Boswick is there, and the umpire gets a little hustling and a bustling, there's the back shot. That's Jeff Atkinson in the blue helmet. I mean, the blue basket. <laughs> Baseball cap. Get it right in a minute. Here we go. Nice interception by Batista. Agee. A follow-up by number two. Going for the long shots. Agee coming in. Keeps the ball in play partially, but it's finally over the back line. Here we go, number three, ladies and gentlemen, as Whitebird keeps the pressure on, and the Michelob team can't catch him, right in front of the goal, Batista bangs it through for goal number 13, and it's 13 goals to six. We have a little technical foul there, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't necessary. And here we go, Peter Brandt. It's a long ball down to his number three. Number three checks up. Number two comes in, comes into play. Dale Smickless, position number four. It's a good ball, deep down towards Charlie Boswick. He can't quite get to the play. Nicely intercepted by number two, Mariano Aguirre. The ball out of play, and we'll have a throw in from right there. The clock continues to run, four minutes and four seconds. Time out, says the official. Umpire Cali Garcia with the green hat. Throws the ball in. There's a hook. Mike Azaro. And here comes Charlie Bostwick. But it's Peter Brandt. Goes for the back shot. Interception here by Owen Reinhardt. And Gonzalo quickly onto the play. This White Birch team are taking no prisoners. 13 to 6 and they keep the pressure on every second of the game. The attempted hook not quite working as we see. Number three coming in, and a whistle. Azaro, we've got three minutes and 34 seconds to go. Azaro, coming inside the 60 yard line. Azaro heading to the goal, maybe this could be one. A little angle shot, a backhand of the ball's up. Through for the goal, or is that a whistle? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But what can you say? Here we go. The shot is up, and it's through for the goal. Mike Azaro makes it 13 goals to seven. Okay, here we go. The blue team trying to keep the pressure on, but they're having a tough time, and Gonzalo quickly coming in to clean it up. Dale Smickless heading back to defend, but picked up by Mike Azaro. Mike coming in, and another whistle. It's one of the best schools in the world today, so give us a call if you're interested. As Dale Smickless hits a nice ball. The wind carrying it off to the left a little bit. Charlie Boswick getting set for the inside back shot. Here's a chance from Mike Azaro. Can he do it? The ball's up. Through for the goal. 15 to 8. 
Now then, 2.25. From the throw-in, two players coming to pick up the ball, it's Batista Hege. Batista, under pressure from Owen Reinhardt. Gonzalo Pierez strokes the ball down the field. Two players coming together, the back shot is a high lofted ball from Mike Azaro. Waiting for it to drop and it's going to be home. It's number one, look at this young player. He's rated at six, but he's not going to be there very long with this kind of play. Batista coming through magnificently, goes for the long shot, Owen Reinhardt whips it away. You've got to go all the way Owen if you can make it and here he comes. But here's a return pass from Charlie Boswick. Boswick heading down the field, Owen Reinhardt can outrun him if he can. And the score is 13 to 8, Reinhardt with a beautiful pass from Boswick. One shot, the ball is up and it's go! The score is 13 to 9, 33 seconds. Okay, 14 seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like the $100,000 Palm Beach Polo World Cup Championship goes for the fifth time in 10 years to White Birch. Right here, we have one second to go. There is the bell, and that'll do it. And it's all over. Thank you, players. Thank you, officials. Well played, gentlemen. Thank you, Polo fans, for staying. We'll see you later. I don't know where, I don't know when at the presentation.